Hey everybody, what's up and welcome back to another edition of Gamer for Life Plays. And in this game, sorry, in this video, I am playing a really cool game called Might and Magic Jewel of Champions, the online card game. Now, this is similar to all them other online card games like yeah, Magic the Gathering and um, I can't remember what the rest of them are, <laughs> but there's a few out there. Um, but this is based on the Might and Magic universe. Now this, I first noticed this game at Eurogamer 2013, you did 2013, me and Richard, well Richard played on it first and I had a quick blast on it a few days later and it got me interested and I thought I'd download it. Now this is a free game, yes I would put it in the free to game, free to play section, but this is such a good game I wanted to actually do a bit more of an in depth look at it for you and recommend it to you as well. So here we go, let's get straight into it. I am going to probably play a. I want to go on a mission. I'm just going to go on a practice versus AI. There's my deck. Let's fight. Now, unlike other games, more games, but I want this one. I'll take this. I'll keep you on because I don't know as much because I've only played this like once before. But like, like Magic the Gathering, you get your um, top to bottom. But this is now side to side, two lanes for where the characters can be in, and then there's all like your know, event cards and stuff. So I'll try and take it in as best I can. You get your hit points for your champions, like your uh, 20 each that you defend with the lanes. But I'll just explain it as I go on. So what I'll do is probably can I use any of these characters? Usually it helps you out by saying where these guys can go. Now these characters are like uh, Magic the Gathering, you have to have like mana and stuff to build up to allow them on. Now certain characters can go in the first lane which is highlighted in green now. Or characters can go into like both lanes or characters can go into the back lane to make them range characters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, them, put my first character down on the game. So I'm going to pull you. Yeah, you know, okay. Why can't I use him? Not let me use him. I don't know why it's not let me use him. Yeah. Yep, yep. Hmm, I don't know why I can't use that card. That's strange. Oh no, now I can use the cards. Right, there we go. Sorry about that, people. I'm going to boost up his... Each one you increase, it like covers the board for light mana in um not man is it mana land cards from uh, for magic the gathering where you've got to have so many to bring up a character uh, can i attack you and you no oh no okay i thought the yeah, would have been easy enough to attack on no, I need to get more practice in this game straight away. So look. Okay. Bring it back. Yay. Drop you into that lane. See now the thing is you can position people in lanes plus you can also um, shift them up and down lanes, kind of like a tower defence game, you have to defend your lanes, which is really interesting as well. What card have I got here? Ooh, I can deal. Fuck yeah! Boom ting! I can't attack though, that's fair enough. And turn. See, this is like my third game on this. It's a really interesting, cool game, and as you can see at the bottom, there's like your. Yeah, 
the event cards increase it up from the next creature to play by one to so I'm gonna use probably a beast up on this lane attack him and I will increase that as well so you see there's, there's multiple ways you can use your um, your characters in, in lanes as well. Sorry if I'm not explaining this um, as good because I'm still learning as I'm going along here to be honest with you. It's quite an interesting, uh, interesting game to say the least. So let's see what we've got here. I'll defend my bat line. I'll increase that. I will attack that. And I will also attack that. And, and turn. Now, like with Magic the Gathering, there's the story mode of it where you take on champions and learn about what's going on with the story. It's really cool, really fun. And also you've got your online multiplayer to play against as well, which is awesome. Uh, I'll also increase that. I'll also look at... What's that? I'll draw a card or... Draw a card or if no one has more in the hand than you. It's got two cards at the end. Alright. I'm gonna drop a cat there. And can I attack? Yeah I can. Aha, that's one down. And I can also attack him. Yeah, boy, that was pretty cool. And plus, while well, you've still got all the, it tells you the, how much you've used, but anything with like a green surrounding in your hand, you can still play. It's like, I can play it there, I've got so many characters there. Now I can't do anything else because I've run out of my six, whatever you want to call it. Each turn, I think it does grow. Also, you can change that as well. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, this is interesting. This is very interesting. I need to start defending the lanes pretty well. Okay. So you can put spells on them and so much more. There's, there's a lot that you can do. I need to put defense. I need to put up a defense. Um, Don't die on me, don't die on me, whatever you do. Um, increase that. I'm probably going to get really done over here in a second. I can't attack anybody now. Ugh. No, 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 cancel that. The cool thing about this, you can cancel stuff as well, which is really awesome. It's not like you've got to force the play as well. So, in turn. Yeah, this is really cool. I love the graphics in this game as well. It looks really well done out. Um, I've never really got into the Might of Magic stuff. I know there's a load of Might of Magic stuff in this really universe of Might of Magic. Um, but, ouch. I'm getting served. Um, I'm going to drop you in there because that's where I'm getting most damage given to me. Increase. What is that? So that was one guy there, which is good. 
Which is good. I'm probably going to lose this game now. But you see what I mean? There's so many different variables and variants to the game. So, like I said, I would recommend you check it out. I'll leave the link in the uh, description below. But all you have to do is check out Might and Magic Duel of Champions in your uh, browser. And it will come up. And you can download it. It's free. And there's loads of tutorials on it. And so much more. It's, it's really awesome. Uh, increase things. Put you in front of... God. I'm going to get my arse under to me here, in all fairness. Um, can I kill that? Right, so that's one guy down, that's brilliant. Yeah, it's just quite a good and addictive game, you, you, you just got to play it right, because it depends on how much resource. Sorry, it depends on how much resource you've got, and they are eating it alive. <laughs> enough to kill you with oh shit I've left myself open I've left myself open damn it I might lose this one then <laughs> but I think it's cool how you can level up different things like your uh, I think it's your attacking and mana and stuff really cool how you can level up different things to give up your resources what is needed God, I am getting absolutely under to me. He's got loads of characters. I've only got like what? Fucking three. Hang on. Alright. Hang on. Whoa. Hold on a minute. When an enchanted creature is attacked and dealt damage, fire shield deals the same amount of damage to the attacked creature. Oh, I like that. Um, I will do it for... That lane. Sorry. Go on. Why not? Attack you. Oh, shit. Okay, attack you. Oh, no. <laughs> that was a bad move. And I think that's GG. Straight away. Oh, no. What's that? Can I do that? Can I play the card? What's this? Yeah, why not? I might as well since I've got the resources. Go on, why not? <laughs> oh, this is going to be good night, Irene. Yeah, that's it. That's GG. He's eating me alive. Plus, you get all your deck customization and so much more in this. You can buy packs using money you earn in game. Uh, for each game you win, you earn money to uh, and gold to buy packs, buy decks, to fight your friends online. Kind of like how FIFA you can purchase footballers through there and whatnot. Okay, I want to draw a card. Yes, I'll draw a card. Can I draw a card as well? Oh, you know what, I might as well do that. Might as well use the cards that I've got, because like you get like enchantments and stuff, so if anything happens it, it does like an after effect. Might as well play this card as well, why not? Uh, play that card as well, why not? What target spell? There's no target spells. No, cancel that. Oh, I'm gonna die. <laughs> GG! <laughs> He's just gonna put some out and just kill me straight away. There we go. That's the end of the game. 
Why are still going? Why are you still going? No. But yes, there you go. That is basically it for Matt Magic Dual Champions. It's it is a Magic the Gathering style game. It's fun. It's free to download. It's something cool to look into uh, if you are a fan of Might and Magic anyway and you've probably played all the other little games because there's probably some Might and Magic games I'm going to be touching on in the future but um, I would recommend this if you're into your card dealing games like I said you can get all your cards in game through money you're getting from playing matches and stuff like that so like I said there's so much more in there check it out you know what I mean I'll give this game because I'm, I'm, I have been a big fan of Magic the Gathering for a couple of years now and uh, I've really enjoyed 2014 especially um, but I will give this game a really really cool 7.5 out of 10 because it's a cool concept it's, you've got to learn to get into it but the, you're used to Magic the Gathering of the whole you've got so many mana uh, land cards you can bring out this one's a bit more variant with all the different like the fist, the pot, and stuff like it's like destiny levels. That's it. Destiny levels, magic levels, and might levels. And you have to have so much might, magic, destiny to bring it all up. But it's fun. By the way, definitely recommend it for you guys. The link is in the description. Check it out. Free to download, free to play. And if you want someone to play against, please feel free to add me up. Um, DJ DVP on Steam and all that as well if you not DJ on Steam DJP in game this is not a Steam game sorry I'm getting the games mixed up but anyway comment like and subscribe and we will see you next time for more peace out people and have a very good day